Transportation of Concrete Part 1 In our previous videos, we have seen different methods of mixing concrete. Once the ingredients are mixed thoroughly, it should be transported to the place of deposition at the earliest without the loss of homogeneity obtained at the time of mixing. There are different methods adopted for transporting concrete depend upon the size of the work, the importance of the job, the distance of the deposition place from the mixing place, and the nature of the train. Some common methods of transporting concrete are as shown on the screen. In this video, we are going to see about mortar pan and wheelbarrow transportation of concrete. Mortar pan. This is the common method of transporting concrete. The pans are filled with the concrete and are passed from hand to hand, but it is slow process and consume huge labor cost. As the pan capacity is small, more and more concrete area is exposed to the atmosphere during transportation. This may sometimes lead to evaporation of water from concrete during hot weather condition. The advantage of this method of transportation is the concrete can be deposited for both above and below concreting without segregation. Wheelbarrow this type of transporting method is used for placing concrete in ground level. This method is used for concreting rigid pavements. The wheelbarrow is fixed with pneumatic wheels to facilitate the movement. In case of uneven ground surface, segregation of concrete may occur. So, in this case, the wooden planks are placed in the path of transportation, so it will result in reduced segregation. The average capacity of a wheelbarrow is 35 liters that is 80 kilograms. These types of transportation are used for small jobs, small hauls, and over muddy ground. Subscribe our channel for more civil engineering related videos.